Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Spirit and I today am going to be playing Stellaris. This is going to be a Stellaris episode and season out of this. Uh, this is episode zero where I'm going to be explaining what was new in the Heinlein patch that I'm playing on as well as also playing with Will Leviathan's DLC and we're going to create a new empire and we're not looking like humans. Uh, let's go plantoids, you look cool. Um, I don't ever fill out the biography, and... Vidir... Vidiris... Yes. Vidiris, yes. Okay. I can go with that. Um, do we have a plan to like name pack? There it is. That's... That's a glitch. <laughs> nice. Paradox. Um... Basically, the whole point of this video is setting up the Empire, loading up the game, getting the save file, and figuring out where we are in the galaxy, and how things are going to go from there. I don't really have too many plans other than just kind of figuring out what to kind of go with for the, um, what I want to go for in terms of endgame. I just kind of figured throw something out, figure out what we're doing, go from there. Um, the plants should be rapid breeders, adaptive, sedentary because it's hard to move. Um, I think fleeting. Do I want to do charismatic? Communal? Yeah, we'll go communal. Because that will help out in the early game. Unless, is there one for ethics divergence to go away? Too far forward. Um, or is that... Something I can't pick now. No, conformists. Yeah, I can't pick it anyways. Nope, wrong one. Communal. So we'll be rapid breeders who are adaptive, sedentary, fleeting, <laughs> which I hate using fleeting, but hey, um, I'll use it again, and we'll be communal. Um, the name, I can rock that. I can also rock that color. Uh, plants are going to come from a tropical world. Uh, that works for me. Uh, Lil Lerarbius Primus. Lerarbius Primus on the Lea Lilaro star. Works for me. Uh, do we have the plantoids? Plantoids? There they are. Ethics. Make it so we're smarter. Xenophiles? Oh, they nerfed it. No, they nerfed Xenophiles. No, what? Oh. Yeah, we'll go for the next xenophile materialist with the despotic hemogy, hegemony, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the research speed and the research station build cost. Early game, very helpful. Research speed, always good to have. Um, the name of the empire. That will work. Centralized, but areas, but, but I have a hard time pronouncing that now. Vedericius Sons. Works. Sounds cool, I think. Um, for a flag. I don't know why it defaults red and black. I kind of like it though, but eh. That background. Something green. What do we have that's green? Green. Background color. Slight. No. Bad. Gray. Do I like that? I think I like that with that for a flag. That is actually, I like that. Uh, we will use projectile weapons, advanced wormhole travel, plantoid ships. And that is actually going to be the Empire. I'm going to save that so I don't have to make this twice. And we'll be playing a huge galaxy, max number of AI, 
I want 10 AI starts, advanced neighbors on high and hard difficult. Well, yeah, I'll leave it high and hard. Max Fallen Empires is 4, habitability is 100, any FTL method, clustered starts, advanced neighbors, end game crisis, not Iron Man. Sounds good. Short episode, possibly, but hey, I move quick. Better to move quick than that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And now that is it. We are in the world. Where are we? We are towards the outer edge. Well, that's disappointing. I do like where we are. It will work. Um, I'll get the basics set up. We will be setting up our wrong thing. Wrong thing. Survey the system. Uh, you're gonna do some scouting. Go here, here, there. I'm just gonna have to go everywhere. Go everywhere, see all the things. Find all the people in the empires. This is gonna be one clustered game on a huge map. But hey, I don't know what this green smoky fog is if that's just the back oh, it's just the is it the background or is that my computer having really weird anti-aliasing could be my computer i don't really know ah, i can't do that we'll get this all just set up research what do we have sensors <laughs> colony ooh Colony ship. Not really any. You're resilient, so you're gonna live for a while. But you're not really that good. We will go with the extra advanced coil gun. Um, I hate, hate paradox. How you changed all this? Leaders. Do we have anyone that's uh, maniacal? I could get you, but you're gonna die in ten years. So you're. 5% for 10 years on anything important. I mean, I don't really need a leader experience gain. What do we have? Wait, 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 stop. What do we have for... Really? What kind of recruit here? Uh, you're all the same! Look at the recruitment cost. You all suck. And you are just leader experience. You all suck! <laughs> it's flat out you suck. Uh, fire rate now. Ooh, <laughs> that seems very powerful. Do I want to go with that, or do I want to go with the guy who's younger and just has fire rate? I don't even know what combat speed does. Let's go with combat speed. It sounds interesting. Um, do I want to go with the maniacal guy? Or do I want to go now on my research speed and have two science ships out and about? I mean, anomaly research speed isn't that important. And what do you have on you? You've got anomaly research. Yeah, I don't even need it. So it would be pointless. So we will just go with the maniacal guy and get rid of the leader research. Oh, where is he? The 15% the, the experience because it's pointless. It's pointless, it has no real point, and he's better all around. I mean, look at that 12%, even though this is 17, look at 12%. Look at 7%. Look at, um, wait for the first, I'll wait till the second month of this year, and then I go, usually, we'll go do the policy for encourage free thought, because it won't affect the, um, if I can see my planet. Won't affect, ooh, this is a really, big planet that's different um it doesn't usually affect the ethics divergence right away it will click it will add the modifier for the planetary administration and then it's negative 10 percent so it's an or 15 oh so it cancels itself out so they'll still be at negative 1.8 and then when i start colonizing when i turn that off to make them not diverge from the ethics that they should follow so yeah, um, 
this, like I said, is episode zero. There's not going to be actually any playtime in this. This is just figuring out where we are in the galaxy, the top northern corner, northwestern corner, compared to the center. And that is going to be all. It's a quick video, just kind of setting everything up, kind of figuring out what we need to do and where everything's going to fall. Like I said, this is just episode zero. I've said it like three times now. Um, this is going to be ongoing for God knows how many episodes because I put it on the biggest possible setting because I know my computer can handle it. Wish there was more stars than just a thousand, but hey, you can't always win. Can I find the thousandth star? Where is it? I'll look for it later. I actually don't know if there's a way to just figure out where the thousandth, one thousandth star is. But nonetheless, um, that is all there is for me to say, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care.